feature that Smart Notebook had that people really liked was that you could lock um, shapes or images and pieces of your notebook in place so kids couldn't move it. I'm going to show you a workaround for that with links. Um, so what you're going to do is start by creating a board. Um, I'm going to make one for counting with 10 frames. I don't want the kids to be able to move the 10 frames. They're just going to fill in the 10 frame. Um, and that can be kind of problematic if I just plop a 10 frame on here um, and they have to, it, it gets moved easily and it's not as user friendly. So I'm going to search media. I searched 10 frame and went through Microsoft Bing. Here's a nice simple one I like. I'm going to drag it over. I want my background to be blue, so I'm going to open up my pages, hit the hamburger button here, and change the background to blue. <coughs> um, I can resize this, make it bigger. I'm going to hit the hamburger button to duplicate it. Okay, and then I want it to say... Okay, so this is what I want it to look like. Everything looks the way I want. I want all of this locked in place. I'm going to hit the hamburger button here and click Save As. I'm going to save it in the Links Cloud. And I want to change the file type to a PDF. I can name it uh, Counting. And then um, when I'm on my home screen, I can go to open and go to my links cloud. And from here, I would find my PDF that I just saved counting, open that up. And now everything is locked in place. Kids can't move this, but they could. draw in the circles. Okay, hopefully that helps um, figure that piece out. Let me know if you have any other questions.